Kang Asam. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Shepard, but we're all so excited to have you on board. Would you mind signing your book for me? Um, I didn't write that. April here did. Um, would you mind? The read is truly riveting. I mean, what you did was just incredible. You're a hero. Thank you. Really? We're actually having a signing in New York on Saturday, if you'd like to come. Really? You're inviting me? Thank you so much. And again, we are so honored to have you both on board. Have a nice flight. Finn, why aren't we having more fun with this? Come on, April. Two of my friends were killed. I almost destroyed Los Angeles. And oh yeah, I got eaten by a shark. How much fun do you think that was? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. It's just... All this attention's crazy. But it never used to bother you before. Yeah, but this is... It's different. Well, think of it like a vacation. You're gonna go home and you're gonna see your sister and your brother-in-law. Yeah. Why don't you two just work it out? You know what, right now, I think I'd rather just focus on a hot slice of New York pizza. starting our descent into New York shortly. I just want to say thank you for flying Santa Mira Airlines. It's a perfect way to fly. What did you have? I had the chicken. Chicken? I was going to try the fish, but that chicken looked good. Always chicken on a plane. suits on my flights. No, sir.
relax, really. You guys were all just experiencing normal turbulence. There is nothing to worry about. Are you okay, Mr. Shepard? You need to calm down. I can't have you disturbing the rest of the passengers. But you got it. Okay. Okay, I got it. I'm good. I'm right.
Welcome to New York. on time. The game hasn't been canceled. There's nothing to worry about. Perfect. Yep. All right, great. So you guys have a good time. Don't forget to meet us at April and Finn's Hotel for dinner, okay? Please don't lose the address. It's right here. What if something happens to your phone? That's what I got my boy for. Photographic memory, right. keen sense of direction, part bloodhound from your side of the family. All right, yeah. yeah. Oh, and hey, yeah. please don't hide from my brother tonight, okay? I don't hide from him. I just don't think he's ever uh, forgiven me for hooking up with him. Okay, gross. You cannot uh, say that. I think I recall me hooking up with you. Nope. <laughs> Either way, it was the end of the dynamic duo. And which one of you was the boy wonder? I thought I was Batman. Yeah, I love you. We'll Bye. Later. Have fun, guys. Have okay? fun. Bye. Yeah. See you guys later. Be safe. Yep. Be good. <laughs> Come on, let's get there early. Maybe catch a little batting practice. You think David Wright's gonna hit home today? Maybe he's been roping lately. Do you remember what you promised this time? All right, all right. I'm turning it off. No more work. All right. I'll play all day. Me and you. Let's go. Come on. We, we have, have some, some new developments, developments right, right now, now on a 747, 747 that made an emergency landing at JFK Airport this morning. It happened at 7.33. We're told it was Santa Mira Airlines Flight 209. Reports that we're getting say that it hit turbulence on its descent and that a passenger actually aided in the safe landing of that plane. The plane flew into some kind of crazy weather pattern and a shark got sucked up into the engine. That's hard to believe. Hard to believe that a storm bigger than anything you've ever seen before is about to hit Manhattan. Well, guess what? It's about to happen, so here's the deal. You need to lock down the city. You need to call the mayor, have him put the National Guard on alert, get helicopters in the air with fire bombs so they can throw him into the tornado. Okay, I can see you're upset. I'm not crazy. You gotta alert the city. The people have to know the truth before it happens again. Yeah, this is is ready to go. <laughs> Get out of the way. Do you have a comment? No, I don't have a comment. Get that camera out of my face. Thank you. Move out of the way. It's going to be okay. Stay with me. Come on, There you go. Oh, no, no, sweetie. You can't go in there. She's lost a lot of blood. But she's going to be okay. She's in good hands. I'll let you know as soon as there's any news. Can you just wait over here? I'll be back, I promise. Yes, well, didn't you notice how tall I was today? But, but, they, but they look good. I like the hot red. Yes, thank you very much. Just for you. I actually wore them today for uh, who was supposed to be our first guest, you know, April Wexler uh, mm -hmm. was supposed to be here. She wrote this incredible book, How to Survive a Sharknado. And... Her plane had an emergency landing at JFK. I know. It's and, and, a scary thing. And so. we don't know the status of the plane, so you know, our, we're, our prayers are with her, her family, and all the other passengers. And are, of course, Finn, uh, her husband. Our Finn, her husband, and all the other passengers on flight 209. Mr. Wexler? Uh, 
Shepard. Mr. Shepard. We're divorced. Is uh, April okay? She's gonna survive. We were able to salvage some of the limb. In time, she should be able to make a full recovery. Is she a fighter? Yeah, yeah, she's a fighter. How much recovery time are we talking about? Varies with different patients. Prosthetics have come a long way these days. I mean, with a little time, rehabilitation, she'll be able to do a lot more than she thinks she can. She gonna be waking up soon. Let's get you to her room. Pretty cool, huh? I first visited the Statue of Liberty when I was her age. I never realized she had feet before. It's actually very interesting. The broken shackles around her ankles are about her being free and moving forward and lighting the path to freedom. Yeah, you just read that in the pamphlet, didn't you? <laughs> Hey, baby. Finn. Hey, you're gonna be okay. Am I? The shark kept chasing me. And it had this huge scar across its face. And I shot him in the eye. But it took my hand. It's like he knew who I was. Well, he didn't know you. If he did, he would have run the other way. I'm sure about that. Why did you marry me? Because I wasn't perfect, and you didn't care. You loved me anyway. You're gonna get past that. We're gonna get past this. But the next time you offer to lend a hand, don't be so literal about it. We have a monster storm headed to New York City. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. We have that southerly shark wind that is going to be pushing all the water northbound so we could see significant damage to homes that are right along the coast and then we have to worry about Not all again. the sharks piling up. We're talking about 12 inches. There she is. Lady Liberty. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Here, let's take a picture. Got it. <laughs> Ellen! <laughs> oh, the crew! Oh, oh my God, hot mama! Hi. Oh, what is that? Wow! Look at you all grown yes. up. Aww. You better be careful, Ellen. This one looks like she's gonna be trouble. Yeah, like, I know. Uh, somebody else we used to know. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. Zip <laughs> it now. Yeah. I was so worried you wouldn't be able to make it. Is your brother okay though? Yeah, he's okay. Why? There was a crash at JFK. What? What crash? It's all over the news. Oh my God! I gotta call him. I'm sure he's fine. <sighs> okay, we'll call him. He called like 14 times. Ellen, I've been trying to reach you all morning. Oh my God, Finn, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but April's in the hospital. She's gonna be okay though. Oh my God, that's horrible. What, what's happening? April was in an accident. Everybody's okay. You gotta get back to Manhattan right away. Um, yeah, of course, we'll come right away. Look, the ferry runs every half hour. Did you hear that? No, you can't wait a half hour. The storm's coming fast. Well, you need to get out of there now. I'll try. How am I gonna do that? Call the Port Authority, call the fire department, call anyone who's gonna listen to you. You get back to Manhattan now. Mom, Dad's phone keeps going to voicemail. Maybe this is bad. Finn, listen to me. Martin and Vaughn, they're at the Mets game. Okay, I don't know, Martin's phone must be dead or something, but... Did you try to get to them? I don't have a ticket. How am I gonna find them? I sent April a ticket, even though I didn't think you were gonna use it. Listen, that ballpark is right on the river. It'll be the first place it hits. Go, save them. I'll be okay. All right, I'll go. Thanks, Finn. We'll meet you at the hotel. Hotel, copy that. What's gonna hit? You stay out of trouble. 
I'm the one that's supposed to be saying that to you. seen a weather pattern like the one we've had this summer here. Matt, this is nuts. And we've talked we've already had record breaking heat. Now we're talking about the potential of snowfall Snow in the outer July. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it sounds like a joke. It is not, my friends. We have this Arctic air mass that's coming in. It's going to bring at least three to four inches of snow making its way through the outer boroughs and parts of northwestern New Jersey. Same time, a massive low pressure system developing. It is going to bring winds and it is going to bring torrential rains. So we are are looking at a convergence zone right over Manhattan that is going to bring weather you've never seen before, Matt. This is unprecedented. All you can do is just shake your head, Al. Thanks very much. And Al's going to bring us the latest developments on this bizarre weather as they come in. Martin, it's Finn. If you get this message, call me back on my cell phone. I'm coming to get you. If we don't connect, you got to get back to Manhattan as soon as you can. Hey, you know, I recognize you. You're that guy that got eaten by the great white and lived to tell about it. How you doing? Why do you think I picked you up? This storm's gonna be a real ass kicker. The other day, ash can came flying off the street and hit me in the windshield. Take a look at that, huh? Almost crapped in my pants. I gotta get to the ballpark. What? Baseball? Today? You're lucky they come out of the clubhouse today. It's not baseball I'm worried about. Fast here on WTHS Asylum Radio. Next up, we're going to talk about the crazy weather happening here in New York City. Looks like quite the storm brewing. Finn's just too Mr. California to come to Queens and hang for a game. Right. Too bad. You know, I'd love the way they're hitting today. Just like old times, right? Yeah, well, me and Vaughn are starting a family tradition. I dig it. Yeah, I don't think Finn's gonna bite. You guys gotta work your beef out somehow. Well, he's super Finn. Let him work it out. Guys, maybe Finn doesn't remember where we're sitting. I'm gonna go look for him. All right. He'll find us if he shows up. Why are we slowing down? <laughs> Traffic. This is New York, you know. Hey, look, bud. There's got to be some back way. Hey, 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 hey. Keep your money. I'll get you there somehow. Just, um, just answer me one question, okay? What's the inside of a shark smell like? <laughs> There's no words to describe that, pal. I don't know, I always thought it would smell like chicken. <laughs> no. It always smell like, you know, like salmon or cod. Hey, looks like the ferry's there. Can I get four hot dogs and three chips for the girls? Thank you. Harlan the Blaster McGinnis? Jesus, it's you. Seven-time All-Star second baseman. 
285 career batting average, 15 years Mets manager. What are you doing waiting in line getting a dog here? Why aren't you in the VIP section getting all that free food? You want to hear a story? Yeah. About 25 years ago, a night just like this. It's my last time at bat. You remember? Yeah, you struck out pretty bad. My dad. Sitting down there, section C, seat 117, and I let him down. Good seats. It's my last time at bat, and all I wanted to do was hit a home run from my pops. Still feel him watching over me. This game, once it's in your blood, never leaves. That's a bummer, man. Listen, if you'd ever need a cab again, I'm Ben. Just call me, I'll be there. I'm also an actor. I, I, I could play you. If you ever do a movie of your life. If anyone's playing me in the movie, it's gonna be me. Not a bad idea. I gotta get out of here. I'll move you to a different room. No, I gotta get out of the hospital. I gotta go find Finn. He's in the storm. Well, Ma'am, you've just came out of surgery after major trauma. You're in no condition to leave. You need rest. Attention, Attention all personnel. We are evacuating East Wing immediately. Patients, please remain in your room. I'll be right back. Hospital personnel will assist you. seen you since graduation. Uh, yeah. What are you doing here? Well, I was hoping that you'd come. Everyone in the neighborhood still talks about you. You look great. You do too. I forgot to give you something the last time I saw you. What was that? I'm with April. Your cheerleader? I thought you divorced. Uh, yeah. Well, it's it's complicated. We're we're working through it. Yeah. It's cool. Where are the guys? Um, section 112, row 22. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're going to have a little rain. How you doing? Hey, 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 Brian. You two guys, I'll get out. Yeah. Vaughn, man, you got big. Yeah, I haven't seen them in a while. They grow like weeds. Yeah, they do. Look, I don't know if you heard, but we had to make an emergency landing at the airport. Is April okay? She's gonna be fine, but Ellen sent me to get you. We gotta get out of here. There's a storm coming. It's gonna hit, it's gonna hit hard. We gotta get out of here before the river overflows. Not. It's rain delay is going to be over No, trust me, we got to get out of here now. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, due to snow, the game has been canceled. We have all the
Bell's Tower. We gotta go home. Take Mora home. No, the Bell's Tower is where she said to meet us. She's gonna go through Manhattan anyway. We're going there. Dad, if your mom made a plan, you should stick to it. All right, all right. All right. flooding we had from the last storm. Yeah, you think? Dispatch, we're on location. Confirm flooding. We're going in to shut the valves off. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Come on, hurry up. You guys didn't shut off the IOT 1138 yet? That's the last one open. Yeah, dispatch, we're almost there. Bud here thought he seen an alligator. If you guys don't shut off that valve, the whole freaking subway system's gonna flood. Yeah, roger that, dispatch. We're almost there. I didn't say that. But you thought it. as we used to be. Don't worry, I'm never gonna let anything happen to your family. I screwed mine up. But you make Ellen and the kids really happy. One of these days you're gonna have to teach me how to do that. If I'm such a good family man, how come you have such a problem with me dating your sister? Never had a problem with you dating my sister. How about that fight we'll get it? You left for California, and you never spoke about it again. Neither did you. Look, when we were little, we got in a lot of trouble. You remember the dynamic duo? Yeah. Yeah, well... We broke a lot of hearts. We did. How could I let a guy like that marry my sister? Because we were the same, man. 
Tower, please. Okay, you got it, buddy. We can go to my school. We'd be safe from anything. Like that place is built like a brick prison. You gotta get your mother and your sister. Nah, it depends on where he'd be safe. All right, all right. You want me to stop here? You know what? He's gonna be safer with us. Semper Paratus, right? I knew I liked that kid. It's obvious which side of the family he takes after. Okay, folks. So what do we need? We need guns. I need ammo. Don't you know anything about New York? There are no gun shops in this city. It's illegal. He's right. Find a hardware store. Hardware store? What for? I gotta get a chainsaw. Chainsaw? You don't know chainsaws in Manhattan either. I mean, you gotta go to Long Island or Jersey. Man, you don't wanna go to Jersey. We can't, Finn. We gotta get to Ellen, my little girl. I mean, you really think there's gonna be one of those shock storms here? Yes! Okay, weapons it is. Okay, I'm also gonna need some propane tanks. I'm gonna need some flares. I'm gonna need a smoke alarm. I'm gonna need duct tape, some wires. What for? Throw a bomb into the tornado. Worked in LA. Yeah, look around. Say in LA, bro. No kidding. Okay, buckle up. Oh, yeah. Repent! Sinners! The end is near! You all be destroyed! You must repent! Repent, sinners! He has seen what you have done! He will destroy you! Hey, you hear that her? Come on, you get a job already! You will perish! You will perish in a hammer blow 
Come from above! Are you okay? Bless you, child! Seven head might do better. The hell you say I bowled six fights last week. Top of the line, 50 pounder. Bear, baby! Wait till you see this strike! Can I have your old one? Details on street closures coming up. Matt, additionally, water spouts now have been formed over the Hudson and East Rivers. They're actually moving into Manhattan towards each other. So residents are encouraged to stay off the streets. Uh, I don't want to alarm anyone, but there is concern that New York may be facing a shark storm similar. Uh, shark, sharknado. A shark storm similar to the one that tore through the Los Angeles region last year and now does have more details. Matt, these, these sharknados uh, are actually a rare anomaly. While there have been isolated reports in the past of marine life actually being sucked into storms, a Sharknado is much more powerful and a lot more deadly. I mentioned Los Angeles last year. Anything learned by the situation there that New Yorkers need to know now? You have got to avoid going near one at all costs. They're very unpredictable. Think of it this way. This is a twister with teeth. Enough said. Uh, enough said indeed, Al. Thank you very much. Those two water spouts come into Manhattan and meet up. It's not going to be a good thing. Did you transfer Miss Wexler? Everyone's in the basement, Doctor. Crossroads of the world. You can't find it here, you can't find it anywhere. Come on, Marty. I'm gonna teach you how to improvise. I'm sure you will. Aren't you coming? 
What, are you kidding? Ain't no parking here. I'll stay with the cab. You guys go. I'll wait for you right here. All right, we gotta split up. Find any place that's open, grab anything and use as a weapon. You go looking for bombs, I'm gonna go to the toy store. For what? Well, you gotta have something for the bombs in the tornado, right? Yeah. I got you. Let's meet back here in 10. All right. Hey, Tommy! Go around! Can you see the flashes? Use your eyes. Go, 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 go. Run away from the Sharknado. It's your greatest foe, foe, foe. Don't wanna get eaten by Sharknado. Fire, fire. Vinny! Sorry, we're closing. I'm just looking for Vinny. Is he around? Yo, Vinny, you got a visitor! Well, look who's back from La La Land. Just in time for the end of the world. What's happening, Vinny? What are you doing here on a day like this? Don't you see what the storm has done to the city? I'm hoping you can help me out with some emergency supplies. Those propane tanks you had from all those summer barbecues, you still got them? Do you got a screw loose? Don't you see it's dangerous out there? I'll give you a slice of pie. You're safer in here than out there. Take whatever you want. Take it! Just take it! All right, Vaughn, we need propane bottles, uh, road flares, and smoke alarms for bombs, okay? And any kind of weapons you can find. No propane, but I found this. It's a good idea, son, but I don't think it's what Finn's looking for. I had something else in mind. Glad you got the brains in the family. Let's get out of here, man. You know, I stopped here on my first day with April. I owe you. Forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> I like that, yeah. Hey, dummies, go around. See the flashes? They're on. Yeah, use your eyes. Dummies! What'd you get? All right, I got some of the stuff you needed. We gotta look for the bombs. We need more weapons. High where I can throw a bomb into the tornado. Bales Tower is the second tallest hotel in North America. Exactly. When we get back to the hotel, you go into the lobby and you stay away from the windows. That'll be the safest place. Take my hand, and I'm gonna save you. And you gotta trust me, you gotta take my hand. I don't wanna go! Be brave. We'll be brave together.
sharks could be coming down at two inches an hour. There's also going to be significant wind. It could be blowing sharks down Broadway. So you do have to watch out for flying debris and also you have to worry about surge. Why? Because the system is coming from the south. <laughs> Jim, how am I supposed to swing over there? Just hold on to me, kid. It's gonna be all right. I got you, baby. Finn, hold up. Ellen's not the same little girl you remember. She's taking martial arts, she's running marathons. My wife kind of kicks ass. She'll get him here. Let's get to the roof, come on. Hold up. We'll go up to the roof. You two wait here. If you get killed, she'll kill me. Come on, Sky. Be safe, guys. What's so bad about being famous? I was famous when I was a surfer. It cost me my family. Because you were famous? Because I thought I was a star. I thought I deserved everything I was offered. I 
was offered a lot. You saved a lot of people in LA, Finn. You uncomfortable with that? It's different. When you got girls in bikinis screaming for you, it strokes your ego. Oh, but when you got people thanking you for saving their lives, it... Uh, it's humbling. The best thing that came out of that was a chance to put my family back together. I can't risk screwing that up again. If we'd married, I would have never let you screw that up. Too bad your father didn't think so. It was a different time then. Yeah. And my daddy didn't love you. I did. And that's what should have mattered to you. You guys got here. I'm so glad you guys are here. Specific. I'm not supposed to get herself killed. So it's okay for him, but it's not okay for me. Mom! Just stop. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. We are now receiving reports that the twisters from the rivers are about to merge. Apparently this will happen right over the Bales Tower Hotel. And Al, the big question is, first of all, what is drawing these two twisters together? And I don't even want to ask, but what happens when they finally meet? Matt, I am really nervous about this. In fact, I'll say I'm downright scared. Here's the problem. Island of Manhattan creates a lot of heat. As that hot air rises, cool air is sucked in to replace it. That effect is drawing these sharknadoes to the very heart of the city. Now, if these two EF2 tornadoes merge, their power could actually multiply. We could be talking about an EF5 Sharknado on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Matt, that's sufficient power enough to damage steel reinforced skyscrapers. I've never seen anything like this. Stay with us, Al. We go live to Manhattan with weatherman Rafael Miranda from our local station, that's NBC4. Can you tell us a little bit more about what's happening down there, Rafael? Thanks, Matt. This storm is already taking a toll on the city. The residents are panicked because of the sharks that keep raining down from the sky. Come on. Sir! 
Sharknadoes are tougher in New York. Glad you didn't die or run. I kind of wish you did. Then I get your rope. of a third twister coming ashore in downtown Manhattan. This is the lightning storm that damaged the Statue of Liberty. It appears to be moving north at the very same time the double Sharknado now appears to be moving south toward it. Al, what's going on? Here? Okay, so Matt, the tall buildings of Manhattan seem to be creating a wind tunnel effect, actually drawing the two storms toward each other. Our current radar track shows them both headed toward the Empire State Building. 
the double Sharknado should converge with the other, what? We're talking about a storm of biblical proportions, Matt. If they are not stopped, we could be talking about unprecedented devastation in the heart of New York City. We have very little time. I need to know if the Freon tanks are still up there. I'll check with the chief. That's her, isn't it? One of my school. She still likes you, I can tell. It's not important. Me and you. That's all that matters. Ben! Ben Shepard! Mayor, it's an honor. Pleasure to meet you. Listen, Finn, we need your help. I just gotta get my family to safety. Of course, of course. Whatever you need, you're the expert. Well, last time that happened, didn't go so well. As a matter of fact, Los Angeles didn't really appreciate it. Well, this is the Big Apple, Finn. When something bites us, we bite back. We band together, we work together, we fight together. You're a New Yorker, Finn, and your city is behind you. Mr. Mayor, I have to talk to Finn. The Freon tanks are still out there. Just inside the control room, above the observation deck. You got the schematics for the lightning rod? Yeah. The twisters are expecting me about eight minutes. This might work. I don't understand. What's your plan? Well, we can't equalize the pressure with a bomb. It's too dangerous, and the twisters are too cold, right? Right. Well, if I can't blow it out, I'll freeze it out. I'll throw the Freon tank into the storm. I have no idea if that's gonna work, but it's a moot point. We don't have the explosives here to make that happen. That's why I'm gonna use a lightning rod to blow the Freon tank through the building into the storm. That's crazy, you'll get killed. Maybe not, but that's what I'm gonna do it by myself. No, 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 I'm coming with you. I almost lost you once and I'm not gonna do it again. April, you can't help me up there, especially with this. Promise me you won't die on me. Hey, listen, listen, if you're gonna do this, you gotta get up there now. All right, if this works, it's gonna take all the power out of the storm. There's a lot of sharks up there still. On the ground, you better be ready. We'll take care of it. Hey, why can't somebody else do this? Look, I did this once. I know, and I'm really proud of you, Finn. And thank you for getting Martin, and you saved my boy's life. Isn't that enough? Family, it's all right. You don't come back, I'm gonna kill you. You take care of them. Always. You know, man, it was great to rumble one more time. Glad we got to do that dynamic duo. It was good. You know what kills me? You're always bad, man. Concentration of sharks. That's where they will be falling the heaviest. And you can see that is going to be making its way on into New York City. Just a monster storm for us. We are talking about shark falling rates of two inches an hour. So those sharks are really going to pile up here. They're going to continue to race off to the north and the east. If you do have advisories posted, if you are told to evacuate, listen to those warnings and make sure that you seek shelter. Hey, Ben, thought you could use one of these. And we didn't have to go to Jersey to get it. Sweet. All right, listen up. There's a storm coming. A storm the likes that you have never seen before. Now I'm going up there and I'm going to try and stop it. There's gonna be a lot of people down here that are gonna need your help. I know you're scared. I'm scared too. They're sharks, they're scary. No one wants to get eaten. But I've been eaten! And I'm here to tell you, it takes a lot more than that to bring a good man down. A lot more than that to bring a New Yorker down. Let's go, 
show them what it means to be a hero. Let's go show them what it means to be a New Yorker. Don't even waste your breath. This is my city, too, and you're gonna need all the help you can get. Let's go. I have an idea. But I'm gonna need your help. Yes! 
This is a great idea, Vaughn. Yeah, thanks, Dad. I love New York. <laughs> 